All right, welcome back to another episode of Event Hub's Talking Block. I am John Catalyst Green. With you, as always, is John Velociraptor Guerrero. Hey, hey, we're talking about hate today. Welcome to the Player Haters Ball, for those of you yeah. old enough to remember Chappelle's show from back in the day. I hate you, I hate you, I don't even know you, and I hate your guts. Street Fighter VI, characters ranked from most to least hated. We've separated it into four tiers. And I don't know that we're necessarily going to order within the tiers unless otherwise specified. If we have a really strong personal opinion, we'll let you know for sure. But it's this general idea. And, and my approach to this is, of course, I have my own biases. You have your own biases. You guys have your own biases. But I'm also trying to really consider how the community as a whole is generally viewing these characters. Again, though, if I have a lot of a personal bias, I'll put it in there. I also want to mention here that that you know the heat. This is these are the characters you see them pop up, you know, in the, the versus screen and stuff, and you're like, oh, oh, mm -hmm. like that. that. Those are the most hated ones. But a character can have something called charisma, or as the kids would say, the riz. How do you do, fellow kids? They just basically have this charm about them where, where even though they might be top tier, they might be, you know, arrogant or whatever and stuff like that, they just have so much charisma. The community just loves them that it's really hard to hate them. So we're going to be citing that charisma factor here with some of our listings sure. I'm for sure. And, but yeah, John, let's go ahead and get right well, into it. Let's get started. I, I, I do want to say, though, like there, there is something to be said about that where certain characters are allowed to be good and, and being mm -hmm. really good is going to be a huge part of this discussion because if you're really good, then people are going to be mad because you're frustrating to fight against. There are characters that are not so good that are still frustrating because of the way that they're good. It's something like Street Fighter's foundational style is that Shoto style, and mm -hmm. the farther you get away from that, the more it feels like, well, this is cheating because it's not how you're supposed to play the game, and that, that that's that's not a conclusive, all-encompassing analysis of it, but it's something like that that trips a, a chord inside of us and we get upset about it. So we should jump into it, and uh, we're gonna go with our first poster boy of Street Fighter character here, Ryu. John, where did you rank Ryu in the uh, the hatred tier list? Not really hated at all. He is the, the very bottom tier of hated. Mm -hmm. I also have him in what I'm calling the can't be mad tier. So mm -hmm. Ryu is among the uh, the the lowest of the uh, the hatred. The reason for that, well, because he is the foundation of Street Fighter. So as far as what we were just talking about, Ryu is the control, but also, He's beloved. He's one of the most known characters in across video games. It's hard to be mad at him. Now, there have been really strong versions of Ryu all the way back, I would say, in the beginning of Street Fighter 4, the beginning of Street Fighter 5, but it's been a minute since he was a competitive menace, so, shall we say. And so he hasn't been getting a lot of hate from that. When you see a Ryu win, you go, oh yeah, underdog story, come from behind, great, cool. People get yeah. behind it. He's got that charisma, that Riz. So yeah, you can't, you can't be mad at Ryu right now. Yeah, it's, he's so rare to pop up at the end of tournaments. I basically never see anyone rooting against Ryu. I see a ton of people rooting for him, especially in Street Fighter Six. They just want to see mm -hmm. this guy win. And, and so he, he's, yeah, can't hate this guy. All right. Pretty pretty easy start there. Another character that you, you like to see win, Ken. Let's jump into it. <laughs> John, kick us off with Ken. What do you what do you think yeah, about Ken? He is in my uh, top three of most hated characters. I've got two other characters there in that same category. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. Double hate. Loathe entirely. Uh, Kim players just love to downplay this guy uh, up and down, left and right. They really do not fundamentally understand um, what this character is. I will say, though, that, that Ken has been around for forever. And, and I, I've got him third overall on my list um, because of his charisma. He's one of the original eight World Warriors, and he has so much street cred. He has so much. It's like you expect to see Ken there. You expect to see him be one of the more powerful characters. That's kind of his history. So he he gets by with, with that that just like that legacy that, that it's like, yeah, you know, you know, these, these other newcomers maybe maybe don't have this, but but Ken does. Yeah, but the other big part of Ken's legacy is Wake Up DP. He has a flow chart designed after him, and okay. that's been around for quite some time now. Part of this legacy of this character, you hear all the time Ken players share one hive mind. It's very basic in what they're doing. So he also has that reputation, but I, I won't take away that, yeah, he is one of the established characters. He's that Shoto type. So he's got a, a safe, basic kit when it comes to acceptance but in street fighter 6 this has been absolutely one of the best and the, and the most popular so you see him all the time he's relatively easy to do a lot of the effective things with 
right? It's it's not too hard to just throw out a Dragon Lash in there and then go into a jab pressure or the mix-up that comes afterwards. It's not too hard to figure out a, 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 a drive rush into a basic combo, and, and he has a lot of benefits that we've talked about a lot on this channel. Then, he's got a lot of top players downplaying and directly disagreeing with what so many people's emotions are saying that uh, I think that actually hurts him uh, in what yeah. we're talking about right now. There's even, even more of a hatred for the character right now because he is... He is uh, very privileged in this game, shall we say. I don't like the only people term. who like Ken are the people who play Ken. <laughs> then no one else does. <laughs> no yeah. one, uh, yeah. They're accepting of Ken being in the game, but that's that's as far as it goes. He's, he is he is one of the most hated SOPs in the game. And so. I think it all comes mm -hmm. down to he's just so dominant and it, it doesn't it's not that hard to do a lot of the good things. Now I'm not gonna say that he's an easy character to play at high level. I think there's a lot of smart and interesting stuff that you can do with Ken, but there's a lot of easy brain dead stuff that you can do with Ken, and we all get frustrated by that a lot. Yeah, I would definitely say Ken is an easy player or character to play at high levels of play. So he's one of the easiest. So <laughs> All right. Shout outs to that. <clears throat> Next up, we've got yet another one of the OGs, Chun Li. Where did you put Chun Li on your hatred to? So I've got her second from the bottom and the the kind of hated, but but not really. You know, kind of like a, a type thing. And mm -hmm. again, this goes back to Chun Li can definitely be frustrating to play against, and I, I do run across people who who feel that way about her. But she has got so much charisma. She's beautiful. She's got all these outfits that you can dress her up in. The players who who play Chun Li have a ton of charisma um, um, and are very well liked in our community. Um, so I get that there's some pockets in our community who do not like her. But overall, I think that she just shines through as a, a big example of, of she wins by footsie. She wins by fundamentals. She wins by all the stuff you want to see in Street Fighter. So I see a little bit, but not much hate with her. I agree. I have her in the same category. For me, it's loathe a little uh, category. And the reason for that is I think she would have ranked in the can't be mad up until just recently, but she is a more technical character. She does a lot of what the high tiers or the top tiers do, but it's a little bit harder for Chun-Li to do that and to make it all come together. But we are seeing more and more players do that, and therefore we're starting to feel the wrath. And a lot of times you'll hear Chun-Li mixed in with the absolute top tiers of the game when people are discussing yeah. how, how strong these characters are. And the more that she comes into that uh, uh, arena, the more she's going to get a little bit of hate. So mm -hmm. yes, she's beloved. She's been around for forever. People are happy to see her. She's not oppressive, at least not yet. So just a little bit of hate for her. Okay. Next up on the list, Jury, another femme fatale beloved. Where'd you put Jury? I have her in the low to little category with uh, Chun-Li. And here's a big thing. This is a top tier character in most people's minds, but she's also one of the most popular characters in the entire franchise, and she just drips charisma from her. Everyone that I run into uh, practically loves Jury. Like, like she's one of the more hype characters to talk about and get announced. Now, she could be controversial in some circles. Like, if you're playing against Just a Kid or someone like that, and you're you're feeling that oppression from Jury, especially if you're playing someone like Manon or someone who does not do well against Dry Brush, you may not like this character. But the general populace, this is literally maybe the most charismatic character in the entire franchise, are close to it. So she avoids a lot of the negativity that other people do. And man, she just she's awesome. Like. Who who doesn't love jury except for the people who have to play against her on the regular yeah and that's me and i put her one category higher than that in the low the mostly here <laughs> and the reason for that is yeah she i can appreciate how 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 many fans she has and i can appreciate that she's got a well-designed personality and it all comes together in her fighting style yada yada but she's also got a broken ass drive rush that is the most frustrating of uh, one of the most frustrating things she can follow it with a fireball she's got all these tricks she does so much damage she's got a lot of the things that ken has just locked away behind a little bit more of a barrier but because of that, I, I think that Jury ranks fairly high on the uh, high tier character list. And and in the thing that people are widely uh, upset about, and that is Drive Rush, if she were strong in some other less conspicuous or less hot arena, maybe she could go one step lower. But because it's Drive Rush that's her main thing, I think she gets a little more hate for that. Yeah, and you know, you got to speak to her technicality too. I, I, she's consistently one of the harder characters to play because her, um, her uh, stock mechanic. People underestimate how bad 
that can be to get in the corner in some of these games, especially in Street Fighter VI. And she generally needs to create space and back up, lose her Oki pressure, lose all that other kind of stuff to charge up her, her stocks. That's a really big deal. And if you're able to capitalize on that, you're able to pressure her and not let her build up her resources. And some characters are really good at that. She, yeah, you know, falls apart a good bit. And so that, that technicality, that always speaks to me with Jury, that you, you, you never see people accusing Jury of being super easy to play. There's always a level with her that, that, is, that is there, that, that when you see a Jury player, you've got respect for them. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. But also, I loathe her mostly. Okay. Uh, Jamie. Jamie, one of the weakest characters as far as the community is concerned. I do think he has a secret amount of juice behind him that we haven't really discovered yet. But I put him in the can't be mad category because everyone feels bad for Jamie more than anything else. And we'll yeah. see what happens if they buff him for season two. He seems like the type that's hard to buff without just completely taking the lid off. What do you think about Jamie? Well, you, you can't be mad at this guy because Capcom give him non-alcoholic beverages to drink. And if you've ever had to drink one of those like pee water type of things, you would feel bad for Jamie too, because some for some reason it powers him up. Um, and, and I mean, that just, that speaks enough about the character. He's kind of like Tito Jackson, you know, from the Jackson 5 is like, he never hurt nobody. Like, so you, you just, you, you got to give this guy credit uh, all the way down. So you can't be mad about Jamie pretty much ever. I, okay, so he, he, you can be a little bit mad, and here's why. Because Jamie has the most annoying sweep, and I say this as a Goken player from Street Fighter 4 at a minus two sweep, and I abuse the crap out of it. My nickname here in Arizona was The Janitor because yeah. of how much I did sweep. Uh, and Jamie's is, it gets him a drink, it goes forever away. I mean, it reaches forever away from him, really far and it's incredibly hard to punish. In fact, sometimes you go for the punish only to get swept again, which is actually something I would do double sweep all the time with Goken. Anyways, uh, that can be very frustrating. There's also his, he's got one of the best drive rush uh, paired with his drive rush, drive rush resolution moves in the game. He zips across that screen and he does a triple hit fierce punch. That's gonna break DI. And it's also going to leave him plus if you block. And hey, maybe you got hit and he goes into stuff. He feels like he has the tools. His dive kick, I know yeah. it's got weird hurt boxes and all that. And they made sure to not have an OP dive kick because of Yun and Yang and all that stuff. But you, he can get some goofy stuff going. So he's got a lot of things that are almost there. And any mm -hmm. one of them could, could, you know, break away. But so far, I can't be mad. You're right, guys. He's not winning anything. He's not doing amazing. And maybe it's my fault when I lose to Jamie. It is definitely adult, your fault if you lose to Jamie. It's the most adult thing a JP player has ever said, right? <laughs> yes. All right. It's the only adult thing a JP player has ever said, actually. But yeah, no, no, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to Guile. Ooh, this oh, one's boy. tasty. We did a whole oh, episode. Boy. By the way, speaking of JP and Guile, I, I love the Guile players' tears that they finally have a bad matchup in, in the history of Street Fighter, and they have to try a little bit, and it's not this... Anyway, watch that episode if you want me to enjoy those guy Guile, Guile Guile's had some bad matchups through the years, but I do have him in the low, mostly category, second from the top. Uh, this is this is actually one of the more hated characters in the entire franchise. There's another character I've got grouped with him here in the same thing. And, and you could actually make a case that this guy should be in the top tier in terms of like most hated because uh, he I would. would yeah, yeah. He, he, he has some of those matchups and some of those ways and the way he plays that, that, that really heavy zoning style that will make you want to pull out your hair until it looks like how Guile's hair looks like it, it is, it is quite, he's quite the experience to go up against. I personally have him, uh, you know, th that step below just because, you know, he's not top tier in this. There's, you know, you've got a parry, you've got other stuff to, to blow up Guile strategies here. Like he's, he's not the dominant character that 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 he's been in other games where there's no options for his booms in this game you do have options for zoom perfect parry him like it's not easy but you can do it right it's there um so i i've got him a step below but where do you have him i have him in loathe entirely i have him at the top now i don't actually loathe him as a jp player i usually have a pretty easy time against giles but i can appreciate that his zoning type character has always been hated Mm -hmm. I think it was, I was watching around doing a little research for this, getting other opinions too, and uh, Kizzy K did a, a video similar to this, or a tier list similar to this, and I remember he said, everyone likes Guile's theme, nobody likes Guile, right? And I thought that was pretty <laughs> good, pretty because, good, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a very frustrating character, and the fact that the Guile players are whining because they're frustrated, 
I, of course I'm going to put them at the top now. So yeah, your your yeah. cart men uh, kissing away their salty tears, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Shouts and, to Scott and, and I, uh, <laughs> uh, Scott Tennerman. Tennerman, thank you. I yes, forgot. Yes, I, that's a Wes why. Anderson yeah. Tenenbaum. Yeah, no, there you go. No, it's okay. Mix. We'll edit that out. Don't worry. Uh, Let's stay in. <laughs> but yeah, and, and I think that the people would agree with me, guys. Do you think that Guile is super frustrating? Regardless of the character you play, you can see why people would hate this guy. And yeah, he's got the... Anyways, I'm glad he has eyebrows. Okay, next up. This is an interesting character because he has been hated. And he's like been designed to be hated. And he is somewhat hated in Street Fighter VI, but I think they've done a better job with Blanca than they ever have in the past. And uh, so Blanca, our next one, where do you have Blanca? So Blanca is a troll character, and there are people who just naturally hate trolls um, in everything. And, and so when there are polls out there about the most hated characters in the game, Blanca is very often up there in the near High end of stuff, so I, I've got on them the mostly. Poles. Yeah, mostly mostly low t category, same as uh, same as Guile here. Uh, so a step below the top, um, and, and it's interesting because Blanca is fundamentally not that great in this game. I really think it's been RD that that is just you know making this character has put a spotlight on him. No one else is getting that kind of results with this character. Um, it, so trolls can have a, a charm, but generally speaking, they are not well received. Uh, it, but I do think that this version of Blanca, the Street Fighter Six version of him, is is one of the best versions of Blanca we've ever had in, in terms of what his power is and, and how he plays and all that other kind of stuff. So he's got a little bit of charisma that keeps him out of the, the top tier of hate, uh, but he's still he's still close to the top. Yes. I think he's designed to mainly be, in, in some ways, in the top category for this. In... Uh, maybe an endearing way but because they've handled him in such a, a, a good way i put him in the loathe mostly instead of the loathe entirely mm -hmm. and when you think about it he still has these kind of gimmicky uh engagements and and i put him ken and and e honda strangely enough sort of in the same grouping as far as they're all strong initiators that kind of force you to react correctly and they do so with a series of moves where the answer to one is the thing that's going to get you hit by the next one right so blanca with his blanca balls you're in neutral at all times you have to be worried about his blanca balls and is he going to do the heavy one is he going to do the short one or is he going to do the ex one and they all have different properties and different answers to them he can mess with you with that but it's also so well uh, designed in Street Fighter 6, and this also goes for Honda's headbutts, we'll talk about that in a second, that when you get hit by it, you go, yeah, that's confusing and crazy, and sometimes I'm going to get hit, but the onus is on me to beat it. And I can see that. It's conspicuous. So I don't feel like it was completely out of my hands. Maybe I feel like I need to go into training mode and study this and practice this a little bit more and get used to seeing and reacting to these things. But I feel like the control is still in my hands. And because of that, Blanca is not as bad as he could be otherwise. He's still got some goofy stuff, though. The jump back and then come forward with the ball kind of crap that he does and he's still got his v trigger in his super two but i do think that all those things have answers they're not just matter of fact winning like you said no one's winning with this character except kind of mena rd mm -hmm. and so it, it all kind of checks out he, they, they've done a great job of maintaining his troll like nature but not letting it go everywhere and be crazy kind of containing yes. it so yes. okay so then the next one honda uh, I have him also in the loathe mostly category, though yeah. when the game came out, if this were the first month, he probably would be number one. The reason being is because he also has that uh, mat that initiating offense that makes you react slash guess, but he does that with his headbutts and his butt slam. We're all frustrated by the headbutts and the butt slam to a degree, but like I said with Blanca, it's widely on you to figure out how to perfect parry or DI or thwart those things. And then once you do that, man, Honda as a character just doesn't have the juice a lot of others do so yeah he's got a frustrating gimmick at the beginning but you can figure it out a lot of people have and then what is he so i can't be too mad just loathe mostly but where do you have honda yeah so honda players are notorious for doing the same exact moves on repeat with just slightly varied timing um and it's pretty much like you're gonna see headbutt you're gonna see butt slam and that's that and uh, i will actually shout out hamad here um, who's a really top end um, Honda player uh, who, who's done well is in CPT and you say like hey if you're you know if you've lab this all and you're kind of ready for it well Hamad 
takes your strategy and says, that ain't going to work against me. Because uh, that guy is going ham. Uh, he's doing the combo fiend strategy of I'm going to hold forward on the joystick and one of us is going to die in the next 10 seconds. Um, and he's really good at that. Um, so if you have that kind of mindset to either be super offensive or super defensive, Honda's a pretty good character that that... Yes, against lesser players, he definitely falls apart. You can, you know, lab him pretty heavily. Um, so, but I've got him in the loathed mostly category, right below uh, the the top mm-hmm. tiers. Uh, this is one of the hands down most hated characters. As you said, it probably would be number one or close to it if this was a, a week one list that we were doing. But since we've labbed him a bit here, he's fallen down. But oh boy, people do do not like this character at all. They they yeah. really 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 hate him. The strange thing about it is that he was previously hated because of his turtle. Right, because of this turtle style that he just becomes this tank that as you try to open him up, he hits you. And like that was frustrating in and of itself. It's kind of on the complete other side now though, where he's doing all the offense and, and it's up to you to hurt him for trying to to, to open you up now. But uh, either way, it's frustrating when Honda tries to do it. So uh, next up on the list, we have Zangief, the Russian Cyclone, the Iron Cyclone, the Red Cyclone. I don't know. They change it all the time. But uh, Zangief, where did you put the Cyclone guy? Uh, I've got him in the can't be mad bottom tier category uh, because yep. I can see people getting upset about him, but he's generally so rare to see at the end of tournaments. He, not so rare at the beginning and, and certainly not rare online. Uh, you definitely run into this character quite a bit, but you realize fairly quickly that this guy has some of the most lopsided matchups and his really good matchups aren't dominant like they were in past games. Um, so this is an interesting character and it's generally... Um, Anytime you see a Zangief up there that's really high level, like you, you got respect for him in this game. So like mm-hmm. you really can't be mad about this character. It's like uh, he earned it, you know. Yeah, so. and when he's dominating, you're not going, oh my gosh, there it is. You're going, oh yeah, I can't believe it. The, the reads, the the oh I didn't know he could do that. Oh the juggles, oh that was so smart. You're always rooting for Zangief because he does come across as an underdog. And I want to take a second to say, no character in this game is free wins. I, I playing online, I can get matched up with anybody including Zangief as a JP, and I don't ever feel like it's free wins. And neither do you, John. You're sitting there with that smug no, smile uh, let, right let's now. Let's talk to some Guile players about how they feel about that JP matchup when you run into that and they feel like that's a free win or not. It's not. You, I you, lost you're, a Guile. You're coming, you're coming and you're like, hey, this, this game is super well balanced and I'm sitting on my JP throne here and, and this is totally fine. I'm like, yeah. Um, you know, we'll it, get to JP. <laughs> we'll get to JP. And people's, I have something to say there. But I don't, like, there are definitely better characters. There's definitely a tier list. I'm not denying that. But this game is well balanced and, and every character can 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 win on any given Sunday at least in a two out of three which is what we're most of us experience we're not talking always about tournaments and such but two out of three uh Zangief has the juice like and he can put mm-hmm. you into really scary situations where you end up getting half of your life taken off and he can get in your head and he's got that fun game well fun for the Zangief player it's terrifying for everybody else to play um I I say that to expand it out and say we all have uh, character matchups that we're bad against and we all have personal character matchups that we're bad against right where maybe there's just something about a character that frustrates us and nobody else loses to them maybe i'm i'm the the with jamie something like that uh yeah. but i just want to acknowledge like that's always going to be a thing and i hear you and i want to hear about it if you guys have some you know weird issue with a character that you feel like you shouldn't that nobody else does but you do talk about it maybe maybe somebody else will respond with an answer to you maybe you'll you'll start some new conversation but that's definitely a thing none of these characters are just free wins at any point no matter what john says okay (laughs) next up kimberly kimberly oh man not a very strong character but maybe a hated character where'd you put her I've actually got her in the uh, second from the bottom, loved a little. Um, and that's because I think she's got a good amount of charisma uh, going for her. Because it's it's when I lose to a Kimberly and they put me in the corner, they get the mix of some stuff. I'm like, they earn that. Like they, 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 it's earned wins in here. I don't feel like she's a Buki where I'm being robbed all the time because, you know, they're just doing EX kunais and doing random stuff and, and neutral and just vortexing me to death. I feel like if, if Kimberly pushed me into the corner and she gets all of her mix ups there, she earned that. And, and that's fair because it's like, eh, she's got, she's got a lack of tools that I can take advantage of a neutral. She doesn't have a great anti air game. She doesn't have great pokes. It's like that's, that's the areas you've got to abuse against this character, make her really play defense and other stuff and, and, and not let her get going. And, and so, like, I, I feel like whenever I lose to this character, it's like, hey, that's on me. I feel very differently. 
I feel like Kimberly is the worst of both worlds. She's not that effective of a character. She's not that consistent. So I don't think the Kimberly players are having the time of their lives while they're playing this, but I'm not having the time of my life when I'm playing against the Kimberly either because she is so about speed and surprise that she's hitting you with a lot of stuff that's not safe. But she's got that wealth of options. And I guess I would sort of put her in that same discussion that we had about Ken, Blanca, and any e. Honda. Uh, closer to Ken. Because she's going to probably do some stuff like run up and slide. Or teleport in one of two teleports. Or jump at you and then play the mix-up game of do I drop short and, and change the trajectory and make your DP whiff? Or do I not? And then she also has the built-in mix-up of her, uh, uh, is it like the, the heavy kick where she leaps and kicks you twice and then comes backwards and then she might come forward and try to command or like, you know, air grab you or she might do this or that. And it's a bunch of goofy stuff. None of it's safe. It all has answers. And a lot of Kimberly's just try to turn the knob up to 11 and make you not ready for that. And that kind of sucks. It's frustrating to 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 uh, fight that and deal with that, especially when it works. And then, yes, yeah, she has some pretty cool resets and crazy stuff in the corner. But if you got there because, you know, she she cut a jump short and changed the trajectory and your anti-air whipped and then she hits you all the way to the corner, and puts you in a crazy mix up and kills you and you're dead. And then you have to watch that whole level three and the music changed and all this stuff. I don't know. I guess I've, I have a little uh, Kimberly nightmare stuff, but she's. <laughs> She's just chaotic, crazy, and it's not to her necessary advantage. So it's like she just wants to watch the world burn is what it feels like when I'm playing Kimberly sometimes. <laughs> and that's why I have her in loathe mostly. Second category mm. from the top. But that's you gotta, you gotta be just... accurate. She wants to, to spray paint the entire world, man. That's that's what she does. It's flammable. She's got it's that flammable. We all know the next step. <laughs> I want to hear what people think about Kimberly, though. Because, yeah. I mean, maybe more on John's point of view or mine or... Uh, yeah, by the way, he's John with without an H, J-O-N, and I'm John with an H. I see a lot of confusion in that, or sometimes we get confused because we're not sure who people are talking about. With an H, without an H. Okay, JP. Yeah. John, why, where do you have JP and why is he at number one? Number one. one. Yep, number one, hands down. Uh, so, okay, so uh, I've only got three characters in my most hated, loathed entirely category. Um, and I think JP is number one because when I played this character, I got so much salty feedback um, from people. Uh, they did not play, like playing him at all. Um, I play Aki now. There's a different story coming up here I'll talk about when we get to her. Um, but the feedback I got from JP, even from my friends, even from people I know who like were trying to be nice and stuff are like, I... I mean, it's fine that you play that character, but are you happy with that? You know, kind of it's like remarks like that. And I'm like, oh, crap. I'm like, that's that's how it is, huh? Um, that's never gone away. And the only people who think JP is OK are the people who play JP. So, John, what do you what do you think about this character? You're, that's your main. So. So I have him in the can't be. No, I'm kidding. I have him to loathe <laughs> entirely. Of course, yeah. of course. And I get it. But I will also say will also say that a lot of what he is frustrating you with are things that have more answer than you think. It's that he functions so differently than any character in Street Fighter history. He has moves that are somewhat similar, like a command grab that goes almost full screen and that can go through a fire. But what is that? A counter that also beats throws and that if it beats a throw, you can lop off half your health if he has the resources. What is that? That's not a thing in Street Fighter until 10 minutes ago. I shouldn't have to deal with that. That's not that's that's a Marvel versus Capcom or something else game. That's a Mortal Kombat character. That's an anime character. No, the developers did a good job. He's a Street Fighter character. He fits. He's made. They've put a lot of crazy other stuff into a Street Fighter game and made it function like a Street Fighter game still. You have to do the work, you have to find the answers, but if anything, I think JP is expanding the universe of what Street Fighter is, because they've brought all these other aspects of, of fighting games, but they've, like I said, formed them to fit into Street Fighter, and I know people will disagree with that, that's fine, you can, and and I know that he's loathed. And, and he's not a bad character, he's one of the best characters in the game, for sure, yeah. But I think there's a lot more salt that comes from him getting spiked over and over again on day one. What? There's no answer to this. No, you figured it out. You figured it out that you that he doesn't just get infinite spikes on your wake up. You have the perfect parry and whatnot. Yeah, you have to wait for him to do something when you're full screen and then go forward. But you find those answers. You find those windows and the match is not as bad as you initially thought. People get this first impression and then like you said, it's never gone away. This is the main villain in the, in the game and, and, and he's an accountant. 
And so how do you make them scary? Uh, you make them really freaking powerful. You make them, you give them every option in the game. It was cool when I first played JP because I went from Guile to him. And I'm like, well, what does JP have? And the answer was everything. And so when you have everything, it's it's quite interesting, the tools at your disposal that at that mean? moment he in time. He has everything. <laughs> he has everything. It feels like that when you're getting beat by it. But it, let me tell you, it feels like you've got nothing when you're JP getting rushed down by uh, other characters, Ken, Luke, whatever. Uh, OD uh, Amnesia, I mean, that's a yeah, pretty Yeah, and that good. move has killed just as many JP players as it has killed other players. Because the, what he's risking when he does that, if you thwart that, if you just watch him do it like an idiot and then drive uh, impact him, that's like three and a half bars right there. And if you go into more uh, like a super punish, that's like you're burning out JP. John, you're John, taking off you, half of his life. Where do you have it's JP a balanced again? move? Where do you have his He's rank loathed entirely. Loathed entirely. Okay. He's <laughs> top tier. Just, just double checking. People hate him. I understand it. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Anyways. <laughs> Dalsum. <laughs> now this character should be somewhere near JP in theory because he's also this wonky weird different character but he was in from day one and also it's harder to be good with him early on so Dalsum has the potential to go up always for sure because once he gets good man he's he's playing a different game than most people uh, are playing but I right now I have him at loathe a little I, I mm. lose to Dalsum sometimes here and there. It can be frustrating. It, he is, as people figure him out, a new puzzle to unlock, and it can be a very frustrating keep away. Oh, you almost got oh, me, yeah. but then I teleported away and you know punish countered and you're dead. Uh, so for that reason, low the little. But he's close to the don't be mad just be, or can't be mad just because he's uh, really hasn't been realized yet. Yeah, I, I've got him in the can't be mad uh, bottom tier of, of things because he is so super technical. Um, the players who are really good with him, uh, you see a dominant Dalsum player pop up, they're, they're going to make your life hell. But beyond that, you, you rarely see this character. And, and the people who are playing him um, at most levels are... They're not able to unlock this character yet. He he, he has the potential to, to really um, get up there on the, the high end of the tiers. Um, this is a guy like like Zangief who tends to have very lopsided matchups and, and can be usually one of the most hated characters in the game because of that zoning stuff you talked about before, all this other kind of stuff. But it's not that's not really there in this game right now. Um, there's a lot of mixed opinions about this guy that he might be one of the worst characters in the game. I personally have him more mid. Um, but again, that 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 high high ceiling of technical level that that t it takes to play this character I, I think it gives him so much uh, of a grace period with most people mm -hmm. and i don't really think that that he's pretty much hated by by very many people in the community at all no nah, that might change in a season or two if he gets some tools and starts to show up in top eights more often but until it like dalsim is directly correlated to if he's really good he's going to be hated just because yeah. he's such a different character again deviation from that shoto style and the fact that he kind of zones you out and, and makes you look stupid a lot of times people don't yeah. like that so um, i'm not saying that's necessarily good or bad i'm just saying that's how people will react next up marisa where do you have marisa i've got her in the low the little just one up from the, the bottom tier um because of this character's charisma uh, this is one of the the biggest newcomers we've had um, in the community and people love her design They love how she plays. There's something they really do not like about her But but that 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 is the only real knock against this character that I have consistently seen where it's like man She, she just like this big buff chick comes in. She's the, the biggest female Street Fighter character uh, the, the way she looks the way she acts all this other kind of stuff She has so much going for her in terms of positivity and she's well played in tournament She is a character that you will see show up there and so I I, I, I get why people hate her, and I think I'll turn it over to you for why they hate her, because I think you have the exact same reason I do. You did a whole video on this one. Um, so, yeah. Yes. She's got a good design. She's a, a, a welcome new addition to the Street Fighter universe, absolutely. But she is a brawling type that tries to go for a all-or-nothing approach uh, to more to more of an extent than the majority of the cast. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think that's fairly well handled in this. But when it comes down to it, if that's you, then you are naturally going to be focusing a bit more on just getting that one hit, baby, and throwing caution more to the wind and pressing a lot of buttons because, yeah, I might get counter hit, counter hit, counter hit, but that one time I get you, it's going to be hell to pay. And if she's got level three, she takes you to the corner. And what you were getting at, I think, is that she is the biggest or the highest damage output pound for pound character in the game. She can take you out in about two hits, and that's not super rare to see and people yeah. will feel naturally robbed that doesn't yeah. mean she's a good character that doesn't mean she does it every time 
but she can. And when it does happen, man, you remember it and you feel, and, and then like armor moves. So like you're trying to do things that work against the whole rest of the cast, but that doesn't work on Marisa because she's got the uh, DI breaking Superman punch, right? And mm-hmm. she's got a lot of, um, uh, you know, engagement moves that you kind of have to be ready for, but have weird properties, armor, or they, they like I said, breaks DI. Things like that are frustrating to get hit by. And uh, and the way that Marisa players can, can flail a bit uh, is also frustrating. Now, I, I will say though, that at high level, it is interesting. And I, and I I do like her and I do want to see her get refined a little bit. I think it's fine that she has the highest damage in the game. I think all damage should be reduced a little bit so that maybe she's still the highest damage in the game, but it takes three hits to kill you, something like yeah. that. And everybody else is relative, relatively lower. But uh, but yeah, I have her in loathe mostly because mm-hmm. uh, I see a lot of Marissa's online, a, a decent amount, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of flailing. And I think if I'm seeing that, a lot of people are, are seeing that and she can be Man, she can be frustrating, but she does, you know, charisma, riz, all that stuff for sure. But I put her in loathe most. Okay. Lily. Can't, can't be mad. Be yeah. yeah, you can't yeah. be mad at Lily. You, this you, is you the- gotta love Lily. It's So here's the thing about Lily, uh, and, and you and I play against Dream King quite a bit, so we've got quite a bit of practice here against this character. And and the, the thing about, the, this is a whole secret to, to Lily. Stop her from doing her wind stocks. Um, if you don't understand the character, make sure you shut that down. And if you can shut that down, that this character really falls apart a lot. You start to, to labor a bit. It's That's the whole key. And so I know there's some people out there who get frustrated by her because of that. If you let her get her stocks, yeah, that's on you. Um, so, but it, she's got so much charisma. Everyone loves her. It, it, she's mm. like everyone's little sister, right? Right? And, uh, and so, ah, oh, really? Really? Um, so I, so anyway, most people, she's got a ton of artwork for her. She, she's a better version of T-Hawk. Um, this, all this kind of stuff. She's got so much going for her. I really love this character. Uh, I hope that she is a staple in the game and she replaces T-Hawk pretty much going forward. Like, I, I, I love Lily. She's such a great character. You have a thing for five heads, don't you? <laughs> she's cute yeah i appreciate her I, similar to marissa I'm, I'm glad uh to expand the street fighter universe with her and i think she's well designed in her appearance and all that stuff i, I do think that I, I i feel bad for her. i think a lot of people feel bad for her and yes yeah, she does have some weird gimmicky stuff that can beat you and and uh i think that there will be plenty of people that hear us right now and they're like what are you talking about every time i run into lily it sucks and i don't know what to do like you were kind of getting at and she just gets in for free and stuff it's like nah not quite you, you have to know you have to know the frame data a little bit but once mm-hmm. you do like for instance guys when she gets in on you and you've blocked a uh a wind clad spire right she's plus one which is good but her options really aren't that great there jabbing yeah. with your fast four frame normal there is a really good option you wouldn't think it but if she goes for command grab you're gonna hit her if she mm-hmm. goes for regular grab you're gonna hit her and if she goes for uh anything but her standing i think it's her standing light kick which is her fast move yeah. then she'll hit you but if she hits you on that the the benefit is not that great she yeah. wants you to stop and take the command grab or or neutral jump to try to avoid the command grab and then she can go for a grab and then if it whiffs dp you but really one of the options you should be doing if she does that if you don't have enough uh, bar to drive reversal her away from you is to just jab and check her there she's mm-hmm. probably not going to get that much and you might get her off of you for for free and do some damage so um there's a lot of situations like that where even her best tools are not that great or have pretty obvious thwarts to them and so i, I just i kind of feel bad for Lily. yeah her standing light kick we were talking about that it's actually negative four on block so it's punishable on block if she goes for it <laughs> in that scenario it's just there's so many things like that with lily that once you lab her, it's like, ooh, okay, yeah, oh boy. Yeah, she had to, yeah. She, she, to get to that scenario, she had to get a win stock. Yeah. And then she had to successfully launch into that move. And then all the benefit for that is a sort of good, a sort of in her favor, but also risky kind of mix up that she gets on you. So it's like, man, Lily needs a little juice. Not too much, because we don't want her to be a good character. But, you know, a little something. <laughs> How about DJ? Speaking of good characters, where'd you put DJ? DJ is one of those characters with uh, some of the most charisma in the entire game because even though he's top tier, he has basically never been a great character in most of the other games. He's usually mid-tier or bottom-tier. 
and and you can't hate a character for having a glow up their first real glow up where they're a top tier character all this other kind of stuff like when, when Kimberly's rocking out for a level three she's listening to DJ's music there that's how awesome DJ is he's so cool he influences other characters in that like he's got a big smile on his face he's got great outfits um, he's got a great diversity set of moves and all this other kind of stuff like like I really like DJ in this game it, even though he's top tier so so I can't put him in the you know I can't put him like I, I know that people do not like his his drive rush I know he's he does massive damage I know all this other kind of stuff so I have him in the load a little category um, and if he didn't have all this charisma and stuff like that I put him further up the list but DJ has he oozes charisma I love this character like they did such a great job with him making him relevant making him interesting and really fun like like I think DJ is awesome. Yeah, he looks good. Uh, I think that the design for SF6 is a really cool upgrade, or, or just even just a different take to what he's looked like. Sure. Loads entirely, baby. Like, he's at the top <laughs> of... Uh, not the top of the whole pack, but he's in the top five for me. And mm. the reason being is, like we said with Jury, uh, the even better drive rush than Jury's, and that's a real sore point for a lot of people. It's kind of one of the biggest things that the game needs some kind of attention to, and people don't really agree or know how to, to navigate that. So he's posing a huge problem for the game. Uh, so the drive rush stuff kind of speaks for itself. We've talked about that extensively. But then he's also got, like you said, some of the biggest damage in the game. Right now, I, I would say right after Marisa, I haven't looked directly at the numbers, but man, this guy hits you hard. Yeah. Now he has some drawbacks. He doesn't have that low forward so, so and, and such. He's, he's kind of weird in the neutral, but mm -hmm. he's got a, a an interesting and fairly strong fireball game Strong because of his EX Fireball, which hits twice, which has a massive hitbox, and which, because of his drive rush and his mobility, if it hits you, it juggles you, and he can then drive rush on reaction and get a full juggle combo that's probably taking you to the corner whenever that move hits. And that move hits a lot because, hey, you accidentally jumped, and it's got a huge hitbox, it usually clips people out of the air. Oh, you threw a Fireball of your, of your own that wasn't EX? Well, it's gonna eat that and then hit you. And he can see that, it, it, that move does a lot for DJ in the neutral and it sucks when it when you get hit because sometimes you're like he just threw that out and it worked out for you it's one of those moves that you can kind of throw out and it works out some of the time so that's a little frustrating his sway moves again make you look like an idiot when you get hit by him right because you, you reach and he comes back and then goes he's forward he's a but dancer DJs will and a performer that. he should have yeah, a it sway makes move sense for, it makes perfectly. sense yes. but we, getting hit by them sucks because <laughs> they'll get tossed out a lot and then you get hit by the sway and then they're comboable and sometimes they're used as weird silly mix-ups because he can come back and do low or uh, overhead and stuff and like uh, those those are uh, i'm not saying he shouldn't have those moves but i'm saying what, like well, what is jp's they can biggest be weakness frustrating would you, what, what would you say his biggest weakness is drive JP's? rush yeah you say drive rush is yeah, it yeah 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 he's uh yeah in the neutral he's got he, he can't make first moves very often i mean if you let him make first moves it's hell and you probably get frustrated and put him really high on the hate list but if you don't let him do stuff you don't give jp players time to think which a lot of turn your brain off and drive rush forward players online do and i recommend you guys do that until it stops working and that because that's the next anyways that's how you beat jp uh <laughs> well what, what why why the question i thought we were talking about dj we were talking about I just yeah you, know, you you have him really high on your hated list and, and you, you, you he's you know. a really good character and people have realized that and now he's getting a lot of representation in tournament as well as a really good character Fudo qualified with him for Capcom Cup. He's got some weird gimmicky, uh, gimmicky ish stuff. And he's got the best drive rush in the game in a game where drive rush is a huge problem for a lot of people. So it's the first time he's been great. Give him, give, give the guy a little bit of room to be good. All right. Well, yeah, you, you can, you can. You can. <laughs> What do you guys think of DJ? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, know. Aki, your new main. My main. Aki. Uh, yeah, I, I love yeah. this character. Um, uh, she is really hard to play. And so actually, the coolest thing, so this is the polar opposite of JP. When I played JP, I got nothing but hate. People didn't even want to say good games. The classic Nemo, Nemo uh, shake my hand, please. Uh, that was the... Uh, <laughs> you might he's also hand. a JP player. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you stick out your hand as JP, someone might bite it off. That's, 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 how, that's how that is, yeah. yeah. Um, but so Aki is the exact opposite. Every time I play people, they're like, oh my God, your, your Aki is really awesome. I love playing against her. Like I never see this character. It's so cool that you've put the time into her and other stuff like that. So it's like, she, she has a ton of charisma. She's a great newcomer, but she's so hard to play. Uh, that's kind of her only drawback. But anyway, I have her in the, the can't be mad 
at all. Uh, if you lose to an Aki, they earned every bit of it. I don't know about that, but I will say I also put her in the can't be mad category. I entertain the idea of Low the Little, and I think that she will eventually get there because she will, similar to her predecessor, Fong, not necessarily be a great character, but be a weird and frustrating character. And I think mm. she has the potential for that. See a little bit of that potential in her, uh, like the pressure that she'll put on you when you're in uh, um, Burnout. She's one of the best characters as far as we can tell so far yeah, uh, in Burnout. Is. Yeah. And uh, she's got some weird, weird stuff, uh, but like it hasn't super come together in a way that's mega oppressive and whatnot. And we're and you know, she's the newest character at this point. So we're still learning a lot about her relative to the rest of the cast. Excuse me. And uh, she, I, I do like her design. I thought she's pretty well yeah. handled. Interesting. So yeah, can't be mad, but she might creep up to low the little. I will throw this out there. If if Capcom does what what some people are suspecting they might do, which is make her standing medium kick special counselable, because um, she's a weird character where she only has seven special counselable normals. Most have eight or more. Um, and it, so the speculation in our community is at some point in time, Capcom either took her crouching medium kick or standing medium kick and made it not special counselable. If they do that, this character is going to shoot to the top of the tier list and she's going to be very hated uh, because she is a brutal rushdown character. People think she's a zoner. She isn't. She can zone a bit, but her zoning is to get back resources and to rush you down further. She is mostly a hardcore pressure and rushdown character. And very she good has at dry rush. the slow fireball tech that's mm -hmm. so good in this game. It's you guys, Aki's yeah. secret top tier. Aki no. is gonna <laughs> Aki secret, secret top tier. You heard it here first. John agrees. John without the H agrees. Okay, next secret top tier. Luke. What do we have Luke on this as if <laughs> look at his face just now? So Oh man, you really like this character. So I got Luke second overall, the second most hated character behind JP. Um, he's a newcomer and, and newcomers in Street Fighter are generally not well liked. Uh, he's got, uh, he, he gets a million hate points for his freaking crouching medium punch, um, which he should. Uh, that is one of the dumbest design moves I've seen Capcom put in a game. Um, so shout us to that. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a person who loves hitting crouching medium punch. I played Rose and Alpha too. And so if I know, I know what God like crouching medium punches are like, <laughs> and Luke got one of those. Uh, it's insane. Uh, I probably should be playing Luke. I don't know why I'm not because that would be a perfect match. Right. Um, but anyway, uh, this guy has no charisma. Um, he is everyone. The only people who like Luke are Luke players. And I, even Luke players don't even like them. Like, like men RD is like, Pfft. I don't even like this guy. I just play him. Uh, like he, so even Luke players don't defend this guy. That's how bad he is. Um, I still have JP up above him because you know, the, yeah. But but still, like it, no one, no one sees Luke comes up there and go, hell yeah, no. glad to see this character. Everyone hates him. Even well, I think yeah. Capcom was even hoping that the the new guard, the youngins. I'm playing. By the way, in tournaments now, I'm playing against kids that are slightly younger than Street Fighter Four is. You know what that's like. And I'm almost losing to them. I have to. Uh, it's gonna start happening soon. Anyways, uh, Luke has a very punchable face, which is good for a fighting game. Yeah. But it sucks when the guy with the punchable face is also winning constantly and, and is all over top eight brackets. And the reason he's there is because he's absolutely one of the best characters in the game. Top three, I think for sure. Very few people would debate that. And. Uh, it's, it's also in the way he's top three. You mentioned Crouching Medium Punch, maybe the best single normal in the game, in the running. But then all of his moves, well, most of his moves, his normals, move him forward in a deceptive way, which is we saw in Street Fighter V and even suspected that might be kind of a theme for Street Fighter VI, that most characters have these forward-moving normals and that affects the flow of footsies. No, it's that Luke has these forward-moving normals once again in Street Fighter VI. And because of that, the ranges that you sort of get used to you have to readjust for him. And what that can translate into, and this, this is why he's a very, very good character, a good match for Mena RD, because Mena RD plays in this kind of like gorilla steal your turn uh, style. And mm -hmm. Luke will be, you know, he'll put pressure on you. He'll do a combo that takes you to the corner, similar to what Ken will do. But then he'll be there and he'll look like he's out of range for something or it's that it's your turn. But because of his forward movement, he gets to actually take that turn back and steal stuff away from you and then go into incredible damage combos that leave him with a setup that have you cornered so he's got all the best of that and then also he steals from you a lot and it's like mm, that leaves a bad taste in people's mouths so top tier punchable face stealing turns from you stealing what feels like should be yours in the neutral 
it all adds up to loathe entirely. Look at the cover of Street Fighter Six. Look at the pose yeah. that Luke is doing. It's not like Capcom gave this guy any charisma at all. They they knew, they sold him as a douchebag, which he is. He is a complete and total douchebag, and he looks the part, and he acts the part. It's perfect. I wish he still had braces, and I wish that, <laughs> like, you know how there's damage that happens over yeah. time in this game? Like, when you see him on the end of round three, a little bloodied up brace face, just, yeah, and a wedgie. Okay. Cammy, this is an interest. I was interested to hear. Let me let me give you guys a little bit of backstory for those of you that weren't around with talk and block during the Street Fighter Five days. It didn't really matter what we were talking about. It could have even been Mortal Kombat. Cammy was likely to come up as one of the most oppressive characters that we hated, and Demon Curse was going to say something. Uh, it, it was this whole thing. Uh, shout out to Demon Curse. What's up? Thank you for uh, checking out the podcast. Uh, but Cammy was so good in SF Five, and for yeah. so long. And yeah. she was really good in SF4 for for a while. So she's been a dominant character. But I feel like maybe she kind of got balanced in a way where she retains her cami-ness, which is really important because charisma and legacy and all that. I put her in low the little, and I was surprised that I put her. Yeah, no, and I, I, I was wondering how much of the remnants of Street Fighter V were going to get ported over. John, tell me why you put Cami higher than that. Yeah, I've got her, uh, the category I have her in is the, the. this is how players, this is their mindset, if they have a character in this category. It's, I play them and I think they're fine, but you know your character is not well liked, but you've convinced yourself otherwise because you play them. So, Cammy is in the loathed mostly category. Um, she's one of the most hated characters in the entire franchise, uh, mostly because she's very brain dead when she gets going. And it's like, I picked a right option and I have five right options and you have one right option. And boy, I look brilliant uh, and I just look amazing and other stuff. And I, I'm just getting away with murder half the time Does when I play this character. Does she still have that in this game though? I yeah, feel, I feel when she like gets a lot going. of that was SF5. When she gets going, this is a character. She, she and so the Japanese CPT, she's third and fourth place. Uh, and this is something I told people about. They were like, uh, you know, you've got Cammy way too high. And I'm like, when the lights are brightest, this character is going to come through at the very end and, and be very strong right going into Capcom Cup. And that has come to pass. This character is winning a lot right now. Uh, she's doing a lot of good stuff. Uh, this is. I haven't seen her. I mean, I she got placement in CPT, but like one of the best players in the world. Punk uses her, and and uh, yes, he did win a, a major, but he hasn't qualified for Capcom Cup. You know, like that's that's and on the level of Punk and what we're talking punk about just here, that's frosty. significant. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he won just Frosty, won run so, Frosty. I mean, that's a thing, but like you're expecting world class. Frosty's the local, you know, a local compared to the the Capcom Pro Tour events and such, right? So it's like I, I haven't seen the potentially best player with her do that much with her to make her feel like she's an overpowered presence and, I'm not and saying yeah, she's got some crazy stuff well that that would be the main source of anger against cammy because she's she's one of the most beloved characters you know she comes out and she gets memes Popular. about her she's sexy well though she gets she gets cosplayed constantly she gets drawn Popular. fan art constantly people people love the character I mean, it's like similar to what you were talking about with DJ. People like those aspects about it, their design, your personality Cammy's, and all that. Cammy's got charisma, uh, for sure. That's that's her biggest thing going for her. Uh, that's mm -hmm. how come I don't have her in the, the most hated category. Um, but when it comes down to it, like, like how many people do you know that like, Cammy pops up there on the verse screen and they're like, yeah, all right, I've got a good Cammy player. Like, no, well, no one's... I, I don't think any character, uh, like I was saying earlier, I'm not like, yeah, sweet, this matchup. But I... I Cammy's good for sure. She's got a lot of obvious tools, but again, I think they kind of tuned her in and balanced her in a way for this game where it's like she gets to do the things that she likes doing and the Cammy players can still do Cammy player advantages and all that, but it doesn't feel oppressive like it has in the past. And so I, I got to shout it out. And so and, and I'm excited. Let me, to, let me get you in the corner. Let me let me have Punk put you in the corner there for especially as JP. Oh, and uh, let's, see how you, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how you do when the corner gets that character when she's rolling on you and you feel like you have no options and she just I don't away with feel her like I have no options. That's the point. No, that's and all right. We'll, we'll get you up against Punk and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see if you feel like you have options there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I there's great players out there with this character uh, hurricane uh, uh, um, all these other and like she places in tournament very consistently she's really good I I, I just yeah uh, so yeah but I don't think she's pissing people off because of her gameplay like she used to be but I do I do think that there's runoff from her legacy in that category and Rashid 
<laughs> newest character, uh, not the newest character anymore. One of the newest characters in the game. People are starting to find out how to play Rashid. He's got some weird, wonky, goofy stuff. He's uh, he's said to be better than Ken by Ken players, at least. Where'd you place Rashid in, in the hate list? Shockingly enough, I only have him in the low a little category, um, one, one from the, the bottom. Um, and, and honestly, you could make a case that, that can't be mad, um, should be, but his legacy from Street Fighter V is still very much in my mind, where he was maybe the most hated character in that entire game. Mm -hmm. uh, he was very far up there. I, I do worry here that he's going to get overturned in the future, uh, because that is what Capcom notoriously does with Rashid. Um, Rashid did not start out as one of the best characters in the game in Season 1, and then Season 2 rolled around, he got a bunch of buffs, he got really good, and then he stayed really, really, really good, and then had those super oppressive 7-3 matchups and other stuff, where he's just doing whatever he wants to, uh, and you can't stop him. But that's not him in this game. He, they, they really upped his technicality level. Um, very few people are able to play him at a super high level. So I don't think, I, don't, I, I generally have always really liked Rashid. I just didn't like how overtuned he was in the previous game. So I, I, don't, think he's, I don't think he's hated very much. Mm. I put him in the low the little category as well. He has some stuff. He does have some stuff. I do think that they fixed him from how they approached in, in Street Fighter V. Most everything that he had that was ridiculous and bonkers and taking away from the fun of the game generally uh, is, is widely fixed. He's still got fun things. He's still got crazy mix-ups, and some of that can be frustrating when he's putting like seemingly forever pressure on you, but that's a, you, you lab it and you find out where the, the either the mix-ups or the holes or the gaps are. Um, but it can be frustrating to get taken to the corner and then uh, have like the he doesn't even say mix up in when his move where he kind of like hops forward yeah. and then he can either uh, grab you off of it or, or do an overhead and you kind of have anyways he's got some weird stuff and, but the main thing is I think his level two super mm -hmm. is probably the best level two in the game he gets it for basically free once it's out there and no matter what was going on the game stops and you deal with that level two. And maybe yep. you deal with it a couple times because as he's walking towards you, you have the mix-up of is he going to grab you or or not and try to shimmy you. And, and even if you tech the grab, well, hey, it's still there. And if you hit him, it's still there. So that move is, is really strong and it feels strong by itself. It's independent of other stuff. He's not setting that up. He's just, oh, I've got level two. Let me throw it out there and uh, we'll play that game for a minute and maybe that'll go well for me. That's the main thing. Getting, you could say something too, like his combos in the corner last forever and juggle you for, but hey, that's not too bad. It, it just, it, it wears on people a little bit and so they might hate him. But yeah, I put him in low with a little and it's mainly because of his ultra or his super two. Last character on the list, number 20, Manon. Can't be Manon? mad. Can't be mad. Yeah. This is bottom tier. Um, this is a character who falls apart entirely to Drive Rush. And shout out to Drive, Drive Rush because you're going to see that pretty much from every cast member. And when you are weak to that aspect from every cast member, that is a rough scenario to be in. And so when I lose to Manon, it's like, oh, that, that, that was very well earned. Uh, I, I respect the heck out of anyone who still plays this character. Uh, she's very hard to play at a high level in this game uh, to get those reads and stuff and get going. Um, yeah, I, I can't be mad. So, so I I put her in low the little, and here's hmm. I have a lot of the, basically the same point of view you have, just a slightly different conclusion, and that is the way Manons tend to engage. It's similar to Kimberly. Kimberly is with unsafe stuff that is susceptible to drive impact, and I'm not saying she's a good character. I'm not saying she's oppressive. But like she plays often this game that's sort of weird and sometimes it works and then she's a command grab character and it can snowball you with command grabs. At, well, not even so much snowball because the Oki's not usually there. But uh, there is something to be said about that metal system getting higher and higher and then putting pressure and it's like, it's not that she's oppressive. It's just that sometimes the fight is not this is a kind of off-putting i guess it would be the best mm -hmm. way to say it uh i'm i if you wanted to put her in can't be mad i wouldn't be mad at you i wouldn't strongly disagree i just felt there's a little something in in Manon, uh that is just a little a little off-putting and so i put her up and maybe it's just her grab or command grab nature and, and the goofiness of that and how she's basically playing guessing games and i don't like losing to guessing games kind of a thing but uh, not super tethered to that opinion either. She could go down uh, one. So, all right. Well, that's 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 the list. 
Uh, we'll put it up here for everybody to see. And I'd like to hear what you guys think. Who do you hate? And, and maybe yours looks completely different. This is very subjective. Like some of it is, of course, like we hear hate about a character all the time on online and such. But, you know, maybe you're, maybe Zangief's your least favorite character in their hardest matchup. I want to hear about that. You know, hear yep. perspectives, hear from, from different points of view and whatnot. Uh, John, did you have anything else you wanted to, to say about hate just in general? Don't hate us too much in the comments. It's just our opinions.